So the RFID lab has grown a lot and we're actually transitioning to an institute model. So we've done a lot of work in the retail space, uh, a lot of work in the um, food and beverage space, and we've got the aviation and aerospace division as well. Actually, in transitioning to the institute model, one thing that we're trying to get away from is just being solely focused on RFID. Uh, we've expanded beyond that. So we're focused on all sorts of sensor technology. So whether that be Bluetooth, low energy, or uh, computer vision, uh, RFID obviously, any sort of sensor technology that we can fuse together, that's what we're focused on now. One thing that we're really focused on is bridging the gap between commercial aviation and aerospace. Delta actually was very generous and gave the lab $2 million, uh, and that was, is what allowed us to build this test bed here. We wanna work with people like United, American, IATA, who set standards for global aviation, you know, the major airlines. Also on the aerospace side, we want to partner with the new private space companies that are coming out in the industry as well. We're hoping to, to be the catalyst that brings all of these players together in both aviation and aerospace. So the RFID lab actually employs over 90 students um, and they all work across various you know, projects and things that we're doing here in the lab. So I have students that work with me here on this test bed and in the aviation space, and they've done a fantastic job in, in building what we're trying to do here. We, we hope to just provide opportunities, you know, other than the research that we're doing here in the lab, that's the other part that we're really focused on is, is providing these opportunities for our students.